<laughs> I had a joke coming too. Hey, it's a Scott. Hey, tell me after the camera. <laughs> hey, it's a Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. Jacob's Pardon. It's an American whiskey. It's a pardon. You're going to get it. We're going to test it. The cork is on the bottle style. Yep. Always check just to make sure. Stop. So, you missed the yelling. <laughs> we haven't sampled this one. I opened it earlier. I was just letting it breathe, get some air. Uh, the cork, the cork was out of the bottle. Bart shows up. He's like an enthusiastic kid. Right, I got to. He touch literally it play with it. picks it up and slings it around, yes. and whiskey was flying yeah. everywhere. And he's like, "What's making that?" Yeah, I'm like, well, "Why is it leaking? Why is the bottle leaking?" I went to read it. I thought it was a Brooklotti. I don't know why. I think I saw BS or BC or something. And I go to tip it and then I sloshed similar it. Similar shape, not similar color to yeah. Brooklotti. I know. I don't know why. I thought it was something weird. So it is weird, by the way. Quite quite honestly, American whiskeys or bourbons, not that much new has come out that we've been able to get. But American That's whiskey. reasonable priced, that isn't allocated, that you don't have to stand in line for, blah, blah, blah. We even went several weeks without reviewing an American whiskey just because we couldn't really get anything. Mm, this one, we, we did some American single malt. No, but we went probably four or six weeks with okay. scotches even on Wednesdays because we didn't have any, there wasn't any new bourbons or anything out. Got it. This one, I mean, this one's been around, and we're kind of almost back to that again. There's just what what's newer that's decent that we should review, you know, that's not overly priced. So, Jacob's Pardon, it's been on the shelf. I've seen it on social media. I picked it up. I thought it was a bourbon. Yeah. It's an American whiskey. 100% uh, Tennessee whiskey, bottled in Kentucky. So, there's a lot of, like, question marks, just little well, bubbles coming up. Tennessee, well, Lincoln County Method, yes or no. American whiskey, what part is making it? Obviously, well, they don't have to bourbon. put Lincoln County Method. Nobody puts well, Lincoln I County see. Method on the label. I know. It's, I said it's a question I had that came up. When they say Tennessee whiskey, I kind of think, okay, are they doing some maple charcoal? You don't think that? Doesn't come across? You don't Doesn't. Well, I, don't, I don't care until I get in on the palate. Oh, well, some things that cross my mind. Uh, when I think American whiskey, though, I just think prior used barrels most of the time. Ah, this is probably a bourbon mash. I wondered where you used, were coming from because I'm sitting there thinking a uh, little bit light on the corn. That's what makes me think. It could be. Yeah, could be. It's maybe it's not 51% corn. Right. Most, most American whiskeys are going to have a bourbon mash bill. They're just aged in prior used barrels. Okay. It would be my guess. Okay, got it. But let's see. It does say minimum, minimum uh, nine, eight years old. Yeah. This is batch two, small batch number two, 54.65 ABV. I like the ABV, 54, good. 100%. Huh? 0.6. 65. 54.65. Wow, that's really detailed. They could have rounded up. Somebody said they round stuff. <laughs> that was what they said on our, on our Kill Homan. I'm like, no, I don't know. Jacob's pardon. I don't know if back. Jacob's deserves a pardon. American what did he whiskey. do? I want to know what he did. Was he just like a illicit distiller? Maybe you could pardon him. Is that what it is? Is there a story behind it or just a catchy name? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I do get what I think is a, a malt, a little malt. And brown sugar, ooh, and that, cream. That is a little different nose than I was expecting. It is. I swear that's a little bit of malt that's in there, yeah. extra malt. Um, wow. Yeah, I know. I think that is malted barley I'm picking up. The cream's got to be still a lot of corn that's coming in. I would say there's a little bit of caramel, a little bit, little yeah. bit of brown sugar. Yep, a lot of brown sugar. Ah. Is it a bourbon nose, though? Um, except it's, for like this almost floral note that's in there. Ooh, I love the vanilla though. Wow, I just got a blast of vanilla. That's nice. What you looking at? 
Can I just I would, let's pour a bourbon just to compare the nose because I nosed it first. I was like, that is completely different than what I was expecting. Okay. Oh, you got to bring that in. Barrel proof. Woo. A little bit higher ABV, but more of a bourbon Look at this. nose. You're teasing me. Teasing me with not letting me sip. Huh. Huh. Um, I, I swear I'm getting little, little barley here that I don't get there. Yeah. I'm a little gonna, nuttiness on the Jacob's Pardon as well. Still wood char in there. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, there's more of the... Ooh. Yeah, more of the caramel, cinnamons, brown sugars. Ooh. <laughs> Corn. <laughs> That's a three ooer. You gave it a three ooh. Ooh. Yeah, the Jacob's Pardon, a little bit, a little bit maltier, a little bit grassier, yeah. nutty. Um... Still a little bit, little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of caramel. That was a lot of time on the nose, by the way. But <laughs> the nose was different than I was expecting. Very much. All right. Ooh. Hmm. Flavor's different, too. What's weird is it's got these cola notes. Dance across the tongue with the ABV. Hmm. Cola. Caramel. Popcorn in the finish. There's something at the front that I'll have to come back to. Interesting. It, it's more bourbon-ish on the palate is. than the nose. Yeah. A lot more of those, but there's a little bit of a, almost like a, like the toasted barrel we just nosed. But um, it does feel malty. It does feel, there's some cinnamons, there's some brown sugars. Mm -hmm. um, finish <laughs> is pretty quick. Finish didn't hang around too long. Yeah. Cola. Lots of cola. Maybe even a touch of that root beer barrel candy. Boy, they, man, it's, it's sparky across my tongue, mm -hmm. big time. Yeah. It's that ABV. You want some water? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. i to do a double water. It's a little sparky for mm -hmm. me. Um, it's really, it's a, it's a nice palate. A little dry, a little astringent. It is astringently dry. Like it's got a little bit of, of uh, charcoal hmm. right there on the finish. Faint. The nose is still my favorite part here. It's much maybe, different from palate. Maybe enough charcoal to make to would, that would lead me towards the Lincoln County <laughs> process. Mm. I don't it's, get that. It's sweet fainter maple. than some, yeah. right? I don't get the sweet maple. Cherries. I just got cherries on the nose. Hmm. Cherry Boy, mash. This is just lighting my tongue up. Hmm. I like it with the water a little better. Mm. With the water, mm. I am getting a touch of marshmallow. Marshmallow oak char. Marshmallow oak char. The cola is still in the finish. Ah, and then the popcorn kettle corn pops in there. Popcorn kettle corn pop. It's like a weird children's song. Toasted peanut brittle mm. with caramel a toasted caramel peanut brittle you put water in uh, just a drop yep just oh. did haven't tried it yet okay i'm curious to see if you get marshmallow oh hey <laughs> goodness it's coming right back out mm. yeah water opens it up actually helps the palate now finish is staying around a little bit longer I mean, I can see toasted marshmallow. It says 100% Tennessee whiskey. Yeah, bottled in Bardstown. We just had old Bardstown about three right. weeks ago. Um, I like this with a drop of water. It was okay. It was okay. Neat. Finish was a little quick. Uh, palette, palette was good. Is good with water. Was good. Neat. I like it better with the water, like I say. A little more actually... oak influence. That I'm picking up now on the finish. Um, I'd say I like it better with the water that was added. Uh, this is one of the rare occasions that I could feel that ABV like sparking along my tongue. Usually ABV doesn't affect me hardly at all. I'm still getting charcoal char on the finish across the palate. Yep. Still getting the charcoal char. Mm -hmm. Charcoal char. Charcoal char, baby. <laughs> um, I'll stick with, uh, you know, toasted peanut brittle, cherry mash. Cinnamons. I'm ready to score it. Are you ready? I'm thinking, but go ahead. 
86. 86. I like the proof, but it's doing some weird stuff for me. Favorite thing? Nose. But I'm not picking up the malted barley in the taste. I wish that I had. Maybe it's not even there. Maybe it's a figment of my imagination. 89. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. Okay. About ready to break into the 90s, the, the really good category. Really? Yeah. All right. And 80 bucks. 80 bucks. 80 bucks. That seems a little pricey. That's, uh, that's top Although end. Proofs up. That's top end. Yeah. Proofs up. Uh, eight years eight old. Years. Minimum eight. Jeez. 54.65% uh, ABV, 80 bucks. Sign of the times. Back to 2010. 12 yeah. year old Elijah Craig. Small batch. Yeah. 30 bucks. 30, yeah. 30 dollars. You just, and you get a handle. <laughs> you just walk out of there, what you got? 12 year old Elijah Craig small batch. How much? There's still one of those up there. Oh, God, I know. Um, I it's think up top. It's up top behind, somebody back might behind. come over sometime when you're asleep. By the way, we're both wearing Star Wars shirts. Ooh, I like this. You got Han Solo's gun, and I got Tron Solo. A little <laughs> bit of a matchup. What's your say? Come and take it. Ooh. Play on the. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Got it. <laughs> Very nice. Hokey Just religions. <laughs> and ancient weapons are no match for a good, good blaster, blaster by your side, your side, kid. Bam. I like it. Uh, Patreon. Yeah. You can go to Patreon, support for as little as a dollar. We've had some people come on. If you do two dollars, we will shout your name out on the show in gusto. Who doesn't want their name shouted out with gusto? Some people don't like the yelling. We'll yell it. We'll yell your name. Jim Smith. Well, I'm getting a lot more of that charcoal on the finish now. Is that sat? Really? Water? Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up, not these shirts, but other shirts, our shirts. You can pick up our hats, dropper sets, glasses, coins, all kinds of stuff. Help support the show. It keeps the lights on. We keeps use the, whiskey the heck flowing. out of the dropper set. It looks like it's dainty and your pinky should be out, but we use it all the time. All the time. Scotch it, you scotch gods. It's launch it. Dummies. Dummies.